Carol here. Welcome back to my channel. So I hope everyone had a lovely holiday and a wonderful new year. And so I'm going to start off with a, a Mardi Gras bead pull. I haven't done that for a long time, so I thought it would be fun. I pre-painted my canvas with uh, just straight pearl ocean blue just so that there would be a base there instead of white. And then as you can see, I am adding more mixed with medium and it looks lighter. Uh, my medium is two parts glue all, one part water that I just mix up together. And I usually do a big jug of it. And I just mix that usually one to one with the paints. It depends on the consistency I want. And for string poles, you want them to be somewhat thin. You don't want a big, thick consistency. So I put this color down and then I decided I wanted it to be uh, a little more vividly dark. Um, so I added some brilliant blue and you'll see that I rub more in after that. And then after that, it's just a matter of taking my Mardi Gras beads and what I was doing was dipping them into the one color, which is white with just a touch of metallic cobalt blue so that it's not straight white and it's got that blue tint to it. Very pale, okay, but it looks white in the painting, which you'll see. But I do that. I dip the beads in that and then the other colors you will see me add also and I have everything listed if it's not on the screen it's all in the description below along with my Facebook Instagram Etsy uh, my Amazon wish list PayPal my email address if you're interested in this or any other piece you see me make or want to commission something unique for yourself just contact me via my email address and my affiliate link to um, J Diction Resin. If you work with resin, go in through there, you get 10% off. And of course, all the products I used in this video, along with their brands, and most all things I got from either Michaels or Amazon. So to all my subscribers, old and new, thanks for being there for me. If this is your first time here and you like what you see, please consider subscribing. It's free. I really appreciate it and it helps me uh, stay in the YouTube algorithm. The more subscriptions you get and the more likes or comments, etc., etc., and views, um, makes a difference on how much they recommend your video and it gets into the rotation, basically. So I appreciate anything, a comment, a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, and, you, and I'd appreciate it if you would. All of that matters. And thank you so much for watching. So enjoy, and I'll be back for the dry results in the end.
So I'm back. I hope you enjoyed that. And if you're new to fluid art, this is a great technique to try. It's simple as long as you get used to how much paint to allow on your beads. You have to really kind of wipe off the excess so it doesn't flood your canvas. But once you get that down, you can make some beautiful abstract flower designs as you can see here it really came out cool i touched up the background and um added some of the dark lines there's no rule that says you can't add to your painting once you've poured it so anyway i hope you enjoyed it everyone and i will be back again with more acrylic and resin art Till next time, please stay safe, be kind, and have a great day.